I have a collection of the tools here that we sell at Australian Luthier Supplies for leveling the frets. All of these do the same job. They take the tops off the frets when you do a refret or when your frets get worn out, but they work in slightly different ways and we often get asked uh, which tool is the best and uh, which one that we recommend. I'll go through the pros and cons of them and you can make a decision based on that. So the first one that I've got here is the diamond fret leveling file. It's a very precise steel file with a diamond coating on here and that diamond is what does the leveling of the frets. So the file sits on top of the frets and you just file away in small circles, paying attention to get all across the frets until you take the tops of them down uh, all straight and even. I've added this piece of insulation tape here, by the way, just as a bit of grip because otherwise it can be quite slippery. This is the tool that I prefer the most, but I'll run through the other ones that we have available. These are the fingerboard and fret levelers, and they're a straight piece of steel that's been machined on both edges here and where the sandpaper is stuck down to be perfectly flat. And they work in a similar way to the diamond file, except you have to add the sandpaper to it. In this case, I've added the stick it gold sandpaper to it, a self-adhesive one. You can just use double-sided tape and regular sandpaper for that. There's a short version, which is 200 millimeters long and a longer 400 millimeter version. Uh, these can also be used on the timber fretboard before you put the frets in. So they're a multi-purpose tool. This one, the shorter one, the 200, is kind of similar to the diamond one in terms of its dimensions and it will work in a similar way. The key difference is it's a bit taller and narrower so uh, the center of balance is different to the diamond and some people quite like that they can hold on to it uh, with a bit tighter grip. The longer version covers more of the length of the fretboard and this is one argument that people often use for saying that this is a better tool for doing the, the fret leveling because you get all of the frets at one time. Um, that is true although there is a bit of a downside to that as well. If your fretboard isn't perfectly straight or your frets aren't perfectly straight the very long leveler, the 400, can actually take extra off where it's a bit higher, potentially at each end of the fretboard or the middle or if there's a bump, whereas the shorter ones will actually kind of glide over those slight inconsistencies and more focus on small sections of the fretboard. So you might want to consider that when you're choosing them. The third option is the fingerboard radius blocks. These are typically uh, used for more for the timber fretboard. So for instance, I've got a fretboard here. So you would use this after the fretboard's on the neck to sand the uh, fretboard level and also get the scratches out. You attach sandpaper to it like so, and you just run it along there. Uh, again, these are available in a 200 and a 400 millimeter length. They work well and some people like to use these because they've already got the radius in them. But again, you have that issue that similar to the uh, fingerboard and fret level is that if the radius in your fretboard doesn't perfectly match the radius in the block, you may take more off the edges or the middle rather than keeping those frets as high as they possibly can be. And also the longer fret leveler could potentially have the same issue with taking more off the ends or if there's a bump taking that down too much uh, when compared to these sort of shorter, more local sort of tools. One advantage of these levelers also is that if you buy it to do the fretboard, well, you've already got the tool, so you may want to consider using it for the frets too if you don't want to go and buy an extra tool. I hope that helps you choose the best leveling tool for your fretting needs. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel.